Hey, what's up everyone out there? Thanks so much for tuning into another Addicted Fishing tutorial. Today, we're gonna show you how to use the trusty trout magnet to get out here on your local lakes and ponds and catch these stalker trout with a weighted float, a trout magnet, and a jig head. It's a very simple setup, so stay tuned, coming up next. All right, addicts, so all over the states, in, in the United States, and frankly, all over the world, they're putting stalker hatchery trout in lakes and ponds. And one of the most effective ways to catch them is with these imitation grubs that are called a trout magnet. And so basically what it is, is you can buy little kits like this. They'll get them on Amazon. You can get them anywhere. I'll put some links down below their websites right there. But basically what it is, is it's like a split tail grub. They come in a million different sizes and colors. Um, and then they you basically rig them on a little jig head. But as you can see, pull one of them out here it's got basically a split in the tail like so and you rig it on a jig head and it sinks just super slow so as it falls it's falling kind of like a grub or something that fell out of a tree and then the, the tail is having some action through it like this adding vibration and attraction to the fish so they work really 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 well especially in a, if you don't have bait or you're trying to imitate you know a grub they just they crush so what we're going to do is show you guys how to rig these up all right so first off let's start with the rod i like to use an ultralight rod just because they're a lot more fun to catch these fish on this is a two to six pound okuma salilo paired with a 3000 inspiro reel and one thing that i do different than a lot of trout anglers is i like to use braid for a few reasons i like the durability of it it just lasts forever i've had this braid on my reel for probably over a year um, the other thing is is when i'm doing any sort of float fishing application that braid will float which is another thing that i like because it just keeps that float kind of up on top of the water where i want it and the line doesn't sink down and mess up my presentation a lot of times if that line sinks and then you go to pull on it you move your float around and it doesn't look as natural to the fish so that's another reason i like braid and then i like the high vis so i can see what i'm doing out there i can see where my line's laying on the water where my float positioning is just a few reasons why i like braid but if you can't use braid or you don't have braid floral or mono will work just as good so now let's go down to the business end and talk about how we're going to rig up these trout magnets coming up with the float first so i really like these floats so these are basically like a fill weighted float and as you can see they have a piece of lead here wrapping around the bottom and then they basically have a hook that comes out the bottom there and a hook that comes out the top so you want to take that non-weighted side and you're going to put that on the line first like so and then the the side that's going towards your bait you're going to put that on next so what you're going to do is put your finger on that top hook and you're going to push down you can see it comes out like that keep your bottom finger on that on that top hook section so your other line doesn't come out and then boom just like so and then pull that tight through there and what's nice about that is you can now slide this up and down to adjust the depth that you want to fish another good reason to braid is you're able to do that and not necessarily ruin your line so we're going to slide that down here and then the next thing you're going to want to do that I like to do at least, is I put a swivel on there. So I'm gonna get into my box here, pull a little barrel swivel on. Tie that barrel swivel on there. Okay, so we got our float on there now. We got our swivel tied on there. Next thing you're gonna do, ooh, getting a little chilly out here, guys, is you're gonna put your leader on. So I'm gonna take some P-Line Floral Clear here and I'm gonna, Put off about three and a half, four feet there. Gerber scissors. And attach your leader next. Okay, everyone, so now we got our leader on there, and the next thing is the business end. One of the reasons I think these trout magnets have become so popular and one of the reasons I like to use them is just look at the simplicity. I mean, you literally have a float, a swivel to your lure, and then you have a million different selections of things you can use color-wise. So these things are gonna come with these little jig heads if you buy these kits. 
Looks like they got some silver ones in there and some gold ones. I think I'm gonna go silver today. And then you're just gonna basically tie that jig head on there. Alrighty, now that you got your jig head, basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna get into your little kit here and you're just gonna start playing with colors. You're gonna start trying each one, trying all sorts of different things and see what these fish want. I'm gonna go with just pink. Pink seems to always work. Can't go wrong with pink. Basically, you take that trout magnet, you put it right in the center of the head there. And you just thread it up like so. Put her on up. That's what she looks like. One thing I like to do too to these things is I like to just get a little scent on them. So you can use gels, you can use oils, you can have them sit in oils and they'll soak up the oil. I like to use this, this is this bait wax from Procure. It's super simple, it's kind of like a chapstick. So you just kind of take it out like this and just give her some dabbies. You don't need much. Whew, stuff's potent. You don't need much, trust me on that. Close her on up. And there you go, you, you are set up and ready to rig. So as you can see guys, you got your float, which is gonna slide up the line. I'm gonna slide, go ahead and just slide that right down to my swivel actually. Float, swivel, six pound floral clear. That's probably about five feet actually to your trout magnet. And the key is fishing these things. And so these are gonna work really, really good, like I said, in a scenario where the trout are concentrated. So if they've just stalked the lake um, and there's a lot of trout jumping around or whatever, or you just know there's an area with a lot of trout kind of congregated, that's where these trout magnets really work. So basically what you do is, let's reel up the slack here. I'm gonna cast this out here and show you guys how this works. All right, everyone, so first thing is what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna cast this thing out there. So just whip it out there as far as you can and let that, uh, that trout magnet sink to the bottom. You're gonna see your float will kind of go straight up and down as it is right now, boom. So the key when you're fishing in these lakes and ponds, guys, what these trout like is the fall of that trout magnet. So there's a few different things you can do. You can basically, what I like to do is I'll just, I'll let that first initial fall happen. I'll let it sit for a second and then I'll just give it some twitches, just like this. What's happening right now is your magnet is pulling towards you and it's kind of coming up and then it's falling and rising and falling, basically rising and falling, rising and falling. So you can just kind of do that. Just give it some little twitches here. Same thing. You just twitch, twitch it all the way in just like this. And like I said, what happens as you do that is that trout magnet is just kind of moving around under the water and giving it action to hopefully get those fish to, to bite it because they think it's a real grub or a real bug or something underneath the water. The other thing that you can do that I like to do a lot is just reel it, especially if you've casted it out there really far, you can just kind of crank it in like that, boom, and then let it kind of settle again. Reel it in maybe 10 feet, five feet, let it settle again. Kind of reel it in, boom. So what happens is that trout magnet takes off, it kind of swims a little bit, and then it starts to fall slowly again. So just like that, kind of pull it, let it fall again. Kind of pull it, let that magnet fall again. And then while you're in close, like I was showing you guys, you can just do these little twitches like this too. Just little twitches, but always kind of give it two or three twitches and then let it rest for a second. Let the, let the float kind of do its own thing or let the magnet kind of do its own thing. So that's pretty much it, guys. These things are they work so well. I've caught so many trout on the years, over the years on these trout magnets. They work extremely well. And actually, we were just at a local stalker lake where they had just stalked it not too long ago. We were actually using the trout magnets. So we're gonna roll a little clip right now and show you guys a little bit of these things working in action. So Sean, roll that right here. I think I'm getting bit, I'm getting bit, I'm getting bit, ready? Got him! There he is. Double! That's how pros. That's how pros do it. Is that how pros do it? That's how pros do it. The trout magnet worked. 
Got to get him up on the pitch. Got him. Another sucker. Beautiful. All right, everyone, so there you have it. As you can see, there was a little bit of footage of us catching some fish on these trout magnets. They really, really do work, especially for the stock trout once they've initially been put in the lake, or if you know there's a concentration of those fish and you can get them down to them, try the trout magnet. It is freaking deadly. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. It's just a company that I know makes a good quality lure and you guys should be using it for trout. So make sure you get out there and try it. Thanks again so much for tuning in. We're gonna keep doing these tutorials as long as you guys keep watching them. And if you guys have any suggestions of things you want us to be filming or other tutorials you wanna see, make sure you drop a comment below. And if you're liking these videos, give them a thumbs up, please. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you on the river.